To understand the science behind climate change on Earth, we first need to understand a concept called the greenhouse effect. Let's take a look. The greenhouse effect is a fundamental and natural process that warms our planet. Imagine the Earth wrapped in a blanket, but in reality, this blanket is our atmosphere, the layer of gases that surrounds our planet. This layer of gases is held in place by the Earth's gravity. Our atmosphere ensures that Earth remains warm enough to support life. Here's a simple breakdown. The Sun sends its rays to Earth and our planet absorbs much of this energy, causing it to warm. In response, the Earth emits energy back into space in the form of infrared radiation, or more simply, heat. As this heat tries to escape the atmosphere, certain gases present in our atmosphere, known as greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, methane and water vapour, capture and hold some of this heat. This trapped heat keeps the planet warmer than it would be without these gases. Without the greenhouse effect, Earth's average temperature would be much colder, making it a less hospitable and possibly impossible for life as we know it to exist. This process has been in play for billions of years, ensuring our planet remains within a temperature range suitable for the vast biodiversity, including us, to thrive. While the greenhouse effect is natural, human activities have been giving it a powerful boost, making that blanket around Earth thicker and trapping more heat than necessary. This is where things get problematic. Burning fossil fuels. When we burn oil, coal and natural gas for energy, we release large amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Think of cars, factories and power plants. To operate, they often rely on the burning of fuels and in the process contribute to the build-up of the greenhouse gases. Deforestation. Trees act like the Earth's lungs, absorbing carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen. But when we cut down vast areas of forests for urban development or farming, we not only release the stored carbon dioxide in those trees, but also reduce the number of trees left to absorb future carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Industrial activities and agriculture. Many factories release various greenhouse gases during production. Additionally, certain agricultural practices emit methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Cattle, for instance, produce methane during digestion. Yup, cow burps are an issue too. Waste management. Landfills full of organic waste release methane as the waste decomposes. Improper waste management intensifies this problem. As humans amplify the greenhouse effect, Earth's average temperature rises, leading to what we now commonly refer to as global warming. And while the terms global warming and climate change are sometimes used interchangeably, global warming caused by human activities is essentially the main driver behind the broader changes and challenges of climate change. With this knowledge, it becomes clear that while Earth's climate system has its natural rhythms and cycles, our current crisis is heavily influenced by human actions. Understanding this balance between nature and human intervention is crucial in addressing the challenges ahead. Don't forget to subscribe!